So, I am given I am given that the real of real value of a number is positive and I need to find. So, I am given a number and the number is this constant is real and positive and I have to find the style G's transform find the generalized style G's transform of f if I am given f is t to the power a minus 1 and the second one is e to the power minus a t. So, that is those are my two uh, well these are the two expressions I am going to find the style G's transform for. So, let us look at the first case. So, I need to evaluate the transform for t to the power a minus 1 given by this integral from 0 to infinity t to the power a minus 1 divided by t plus z to the power rho d t and I see that this is also equal to I am going to rewrite this expression. This expression is let us take again this will be integral 0 to infinity t to the power a minus 1 times 1 plus z by t well that will not work. So, 1 by 1 by t plus z the other way round to the power minus 1 because this was in the denominator well to the power minus rho and we have pulled out a z. So, that will bring in a z to the power minus rho and d t. Okay, again I am going to substitute. So, let us substitute let us substitute the expression t to be u times z. So, I see that I see that what I have is d t is z times d u. Okay, so, when I use this substitution I arrive at the following expression. So, the expression is integral z to the power minus rho integral 0 to infinity and then t is u times z. So, I, well I can pull out a factor of z. So, this will be z to the power a minus 1 times u to the power a minus 1 times 1 plus u to the power minus rho d u. Okay. I see that this is also equal to z to the power a minus rho minus 1 and this is also equal to the integral 0 to infinity z to the power a minus 1 u to the power well I have already taken this factor out. So, I am left with u to the power a minus 1 1 plus u to the power minus rho d u. Okay, so, then well let us check quickly we have made to make sure that everything is fine and I think all the steps are right. So, I have well a d t is going to give me a z. So, I will not well there will be a z which is also multiplied coming out of this this factor here. So, there will be a z multiplied as well. So, I have that this is the power of z. Okay. So, then the next substitution is I am going to assume my x to be u divided by 1 plus u or this also means that my u is x divided by 1 minus x. Okay. So, when I do that I am going to get the following expression I get z to the power a minus rho and this is integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1. So, what I have is integral from 0 to 1 x to the power a minus 1 times 1 minus x to the power rho minus a minus 1 and this is with a minus sign dx. Okay. So, I have that this is also equal to z to the power a minus rho integral 0 to 1 x to the power a minus 1 times this factor. So, this has already been so after substitution and taking the necessary derivative I arrive at this expression. Now, notice that 
this particular integral is one of the integrals I evaluated in my discussion on Fourier transforms. This is also this b integral. So, this is b of a comma rho minus a which is given by gamma function of a times gamma function of rho minus a divided by gamma function of rho. Okay. So, I have finally, I have the following answer. So, I have that the style g's, the generalized style g's transform of of what was the function? This was t to the power a minus 1 is given by z to the power a minus rho times b of a comma rho minus a and I leave my answer in this form. Okay. So, then the second one, the second one I had to find the style g's transform of e to the power minus a t. So, again to find the style g's transform we have to evaluate this integral 0 to infinity a to the power minus e to the power a t divided by t plus z to the power rho d t and now we see that I am going to now start making a substitution. So, I am going to substitute substitute I am going to substitute my variable u to be t plus z and I get that this expression is also equal to well this expression becomes. So, the original integral was with respect to t the new integral will be with respect to again from 0 to infinity. So, that again I have taken the lower limit 0 because of the definition of style g's transform it is not defined on the negative real axis. So, I get the following expression I get that this is also equal to e to the power a z times e to the power negative a u times I have that this is also equal to u to the power minus rho u to the power minus rho d u. Okay. So, then then well I can always so this is just a constant with respect to the integration variable u. So, this is e to the power a u integral 0 to infinity rho e u to the power minus rho e to the power minus a u d u. Note that I am going to make so let me call this as my i I am going to make another substitution let us say my x is a times u. So, when I do that I get a new integral integral 0 0 to infinity times e to the power a z times e to the power minus x a to the power. So, u is x by a. So, so I have a to the power rho minus 1 times x to the power. So, I have u is a by x by a. So, I have times 1 by x to the power rho times d x. Okay. So, then the integration becomes e a to the power rho minus 1 e to the power a z times integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power now I am going to rewrite this expression 1 minus rho minus 1 d x note that this is equal to the original expression. Now, why I wrote that is because note that this is nothing but the gamma function evaluated at the argument 1 minus rho. So, my, my answer is what I have got is that the style g's transform generalized style g's transform is a to the power rho minus 1 times e to the power a z times the gamma function of 1 minus rho. Okay. So, then let us move ahead. I have few more properties of the style g's transform which I want to highlight. So, properties of the generalized style g's transform. Okay. So, I see the following. 
So, I have the following properties which I will prove it one by one. It shows that again the scaled the generalized style G's transform well I need to write it in this fashion. So, the generalized style G's transform of the function at the scaled argument is also equal to a to the power rho minus 1 times the style G's transform of a z. Noti notice that for rho equal to 1 we have already shown that the specific case of this result. So, the general result is this what I have written. The second result is says that the generalized style G's transform of t times f of t is going to be the style G's transform the generalized one at rho minus 1 minus the style G's transform at rho times z and third result is that the style G's transform of f prime t is given by the style G's transform of z evaluated at rho plus 1 minus z to the power minus rho times the style G's transform at well this is the value at 0. Notice that this is now the, the, the property for the derivative of the generalized the generalized style G's transform of the derivative. Okay. So, here I am making a small assumption to prove this result I have to assume that f t goes to 0 in the limiting case when t goes to infinity. So, that is the assumption that I going to make. And finally, the another result shows that the style G's transform the generalized one of the integral integral from 0 to t f of x dx is, is 1 by rho minus 1 times the style G's transform of z comma rho minus 1. Okay, so, let us move ahead. Let me just start with the first result to show you that what happens to the style G's transform of the scaled function. So, I see that as, as uh, that can be highlighted that the natural choice is to substitute my new variable x to be a t. So, let me let me just mention so right away. So, substitute x to be equal to a t and I get that my new so my LHS in this new transformed variable will be integral from 0 to infinity f of x now x is a t so d t is d x by a times so t so t is x by a plus z and I get that this is also equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x dx divided by x plus a z. Okay. So, we can see that well this will not there was a row which was missing. So, this is a generalized case. So, I see that this will be this will be the following. So, I have that this is x plus a z to the power rho times a to the power rho minus 1. Okay. So, I get that this is also equal to 1 well a to the power rho minus 1. So, I have the, the fact that this is rho well let me just rewrite this factor again. So, that after simplification I am going to get a to the power rho minus 1 in the numerator. Okay, please check that this should be right and I get that this is also equal to the integral of f of x dx times x plus a z to the power rho and this is nothing but the generalized style g's transform evaluated at evaluated at f of a z. So, the scaled variable. Okay. So, that is my right hand side. Okay. Let us look at the second result. The second result shows let us start with the left hand side. What I have is that the style G's transform of 
t times f of t is integral 0 to infinity t times f of t dt divided by t plus z to the power rho. So, then of course, you know the idea is as earlier shown for rho equal to 1, the idea is to use integration by parts. But before that, I am going to divide this one integral into two integrals as follows. So, I am going to use, I am going to add a quantity z and also subtract to come to these two integrals minus z times f of t divided by t plus z to the power rho. Okay. So, what I have is that this is also equal to integral 0 to infinity f of t well times d t here. So, I have that this is f of t times 1 by t plus z to the power rho minus 1 d t minus z times integral 0 to infinity f of t d t divided by divided by t plus z to the power rho. Now, we see that the second integral is as again it is a style g's transform of of f evaluated at. So, it is a style g's transform of f evaluated at this variable rho. So, the parameter here is rho and look at the second expression this is nothing but the, the sorry the first expression is nothing but the style g's transform of f at the variable z and and the parameter rho minus 1. Okay. So, I see that this expression on the right hand side is my transform function at the parameter rho minus 1 minus z times the transform function for the parameter at rho. Okay. So, moving on, so moving on I have that the third result shows relates the style g's transform of the derivative of the function. So, the derivative is integral 0 to infinity f prime t dt divided by t plus z to the power rho. I see that again I use my, integr my integration by parts by taking this as uh, first function and the, the numerator as my second function and what I arrive is. So, first function integral of second I evaluate at between 0 to infinity minus integral from 0 to infinity. So, integral of the second function differentiation of the first function t plus z to the power rho plus 1 times minus rho times d t here. So, note that the first integral I have assumed that the function f vanishes it, it, it vanishes in the limit t going to infinity. So, so I, what I have what I have from the first expression is it is negative f of 0 divided by z to the power rho. Okay. And then the first expression will give me plus rho times note that this is nothing but the generalized style g's transform with the parameter rho plus 1. So, this is f tilde with the variable z and the parameter rho plus 1. Okay. And we have arrived at a result. Let me write down in a way that is shown originally. So, I have shown that the style g's transform of the derivative of the function that is also equal to rho times the style g's transform evaluated at the parameter rho plus 1 minus 1 by z to the power rho times the value of the function at 0. And then let us look at the final expression. So, I see that I have to show 
that the style g is transform of the integral from 0 to t f of x dx this is also equal to 1 by rho minus 1 the style g is transform at z comma rho minus 1 okay so well let me just say that this is the proof so again let us assume a new function so i have a function g given by the following expression integral 0 to t f of t dt so then i see that my derivative of this function g of x is f of x and my function g of 0 will be integral from 0 to 0 will be 0 okay so what i have now is that on the left hand side so on the left hand side i have the following transform so i have the transform of g with the parameter rho that is also equal to the transform of f prime with the parameter rho because g is defined to be f prime and if i were to use my relation above that I have used derived for the derivative of trans transform of derivative this is also equal to rho of the derivative sorry the rho of the transform this time well it will be so this was well what I have is I think this will not give us uh, our result let me just let me just rewrite the proof again i think the this step is not correct the correct way is as follows so i start again so my style g is transform of f of rho that's equal to so i start with evaluating the style g's transform of f so i know that my f is my f is the style g's transform of g prime so that's that is the correct expression here so the style g's transform of of f is the style g's transform of g prime as defined and by the definition of the derivative above i have that this is also equal to rho times the style g's transform of g evaluated at the parameter z and rho plus 1 so rho plus 1 minus 1 by rho z to the power rho g of 0 i know that this second expression is 0 because of this following uh, conclusion that i have highlighted and the first expression shows that the style g's transform of of f of of f is this quantity now let us see what what we have so i have that i'm going to rewrite this expression again this is the style g's transform of g for the parameter rho plus 1 this is also equal to 1 by rho the style g's transform of f with z and parameter rho that is the left hand side so if i replace if i replace my rho with rho minus 1 i get the following result that the style g's transform of z at the parameter rho is equal to 1 by rho minus 1 times the style g's transform of f at the parameter z and rho minus 1 okay and that is the expression the, the the result or the expression follows right away from this this conclusion that that style g's transform of the integral from 0 to t f of x dx that is equal to 1 by rho minus 1 times the style g's transform evaluated at z and parameter rho minus 1 so so these are some of well i conclude my discussion on style g's transform in this lecture in the next lecture i am going to highlight and start with another new transform known as the legendre transform we will see that the legendre transforms are specially useful to evaluate and solve certain PDEs involving elliptic operators for example Laplacians and so on and 
to evaluate Legendre transform, we will use the famous Legendre polynomial as well as the typical all the properties uh, including the recursion of the Legendre functions, recursion of its derivatives as well as of its integral. So, thank you very much. Thank you.